Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys, Scorpio? So I'm going to pull up three overall energy cards. Who's interested in you? The overall energy surrounding this person, this situation, new love hope, new love interests, and new love prospects. Who's interested in you? The overall energy. Ah, passion. Ooh. And we have, oh, wedding. What the heck? Scorpio. You're getting ready to commit. Oh, very soon. My goodness. You have somebody who is uh, definitely thinking marriage or some kind of a commitment. Uh, and I do, this is so nice because it's, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so something may be happening very soon. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You may be meet, meeting someone new. There could be a lot of passion there between the two of you. Yeah. Ooh. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Clear messages and guidance regarding this overall energy. Who's interested in you? New love prospects and connections. You may already be with this person. Still technically single. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two people who value each other, see each other's worth. Lovely, the star. This is the hopes and dreams. So something's, uh, I feel, going to happen here. You're likely either with someone. Okay, this is a beautiful energy because this is two people who um, show each other that they value each other. Okay, this is about releasing all the past, any baggage, and coming together. This is a lovely energy. So something is over. With everything that's over, there's a new beginning. I see a Scorpio energy. I see a Virgo energy. Yeah, somebody here I feel is could be ending something, okay? Doing a little soul searching could be yourself, Scorpio. But this is about baggage. It's about releasing baggage so you can have your hopes and dreams. Someone's on a little spiritual journey thinking about commitment. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, this is someone's own personal journey. They're on their own path here. Oh my, to do with ending a situation. Oh my goodness, yeah, look at that, a little Pisces energy. Someone has all the answers, they're trusting their intuition here. Ooh. I, I feel as though we've got somebody who is letting go of something. They're on that spiritual path and they do feel if they don't commit, <laughs> something could end and that someone's going to move forward. But I see something being exposed, it's just shining that light. Things are becoming very clear. Somebody already knows everything they need to know. They're trusting their intuition. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. I, I think you got a person here who's thinking about, oh, yeah, I see a little Virgo energy. Somebody is uh, feeling like something is over. Now, I don't know if it's this person or, or it's yourself. Uh, with that death card, okay? This is about the death of the past. It's a healing. It's something is finished. It's done, okay? And, and there's a person who is soul-searching this energy. They're on this path, trusting their intuition. They already know everything they need to know. <laughs> they think they do. We'll see if they actually trust their intuition. Yeah, we got somebody here who's single, but I see two people, two single people here. Some of you are going to, if you've ended something with someone uh, because they didn't want to commit, you looks like you have a new person. I do see a Pisces. I see a Virgo. I see a Sagittarius. Yeah, you got someone here. Um, this is interesting because this is temperance. This is someone who pulls back and they're looking at something. There's something different about you, okay? Or you're different than this person's usual type. So this is interesting. Ooh, a lot of passion. There's some kind of change here. Oh, my goodness. Then we have a person coming towards you. Yeah, I've got someone here who's very sincere coming around. Uh, there's some kind of change. Somebody's seeing someone's ready for something different. Oh, yeah. Uh, this person's about to make a decision. Now, I don't know if this is yourself or them. Take it as it resonates best for you. Just trust your intuition, okay? You may feel it. You may know it could be yourself where you know that there's this somebody new coming in. You may know, maybe you have a secret admirer or something here. I'm going to see. Tell me about the star. This is two people who release their baggage, okay? It's something that has to end now for something new to begin. Yeah, some change coming here. 
Yeah, see, this is, ooh, could be a new crush. Somebody is definitely exploring here their, their hopes and their dreams. So this is about clearly deciding what you want now because something is coming towards you. You can probably feel this coming, okay? Uh, if you have a new person, I feel you may be keeping it to yourself. Someone may be wanting to know. Yeah. I see. I do see the Six of Cups. Somebody's kind of reminiscing, you know. It's just that feeling of melancholy. Uh, but it's also someone who's keeping something very simple. This is a crush. Uh, somebody who's going to start doing sweet things for someone to show them that they care. But I do see this passion. It's about following your heart and your soul. And this is somebody who's on that path to do that. Tell me about this energy with the death card. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Somebody may be ending something with, you may be ending something with someone and releasing them. Could be somebody you had children with. Um, but I do see somebody on that journey here. I don't, I don't think this is yourself. I think it's the other person. Someone sees you as an empress, maybe even the mother of your children. This is someone's hopes and dreams, but they have to let go of something. Um, something needs to end for the birth of something new. Look at that. Yeah. Marriage commitment. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? I think you got a person who's ready for a family and they're just soul searching it. Yeah, I do. And it's about that path towards marriage. It's about building a financial foundation, a commitment, happy home, happy life, uh, a reason to celebrate. So there's that energy. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Oh, you may have someone who's interested in you. Maybe you've uh, released something or let go of something uh, because that's the Empress. The Empress lets go. This is that hopes and dreams, right? To release an old relationship baggage. I think you got a crush, someone crushing on you major. Yeah, see, there's that energy of two people who come together. It's something to do with the commitment, something new. Uh, if you've ended something with a person, you, this person may be looking to see if you've started something new, possibly as well. So for some of you, see what this new is about. Oh, yeah, something is becoming clear. Oh, my goodness, we have a little cancer energy. Pisces, Scorpio, mm, Empress energy. Oh, something has to end for something new to begin, whatever that is. Baggage, past relationships, a lot of different things here. So it's going to be different for each of you. Yeah, look at that temperance. Two people tempering their passions, emotions. It's about being patient. It's about looking back to see if someone's right for you or not. Okay. Uh, but this is waiting patiently for something. Some of you, it's an energy of looking. Uh, you know, you're single. Uh, you value yourself. You want someone to see your worth. And I do feel somebody definitely sees you as marriage material. And I do think this person's kind of tempering their passions or waiting for an opportunity. But this is someone here who's very much in control of their emotions. So you tempering their emotions are not ruled by their emotions. So uh, definitely could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy. Uh, but there's that Sag energy, that tempering the passions. You see someone's controlling their emotions. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Someone is definitely, you got this person definitely wants to come towards you. They, it's about staying on course. Okay. Uh, it's about chemistry. It's about two people who are very much the same, but yet different. It's time for something different. Okay. To end something. Something needs to end for something new to begin. And that's what this person is thinking about. Look at that passion, that chemistry. There is a lot of chemistry. I see a passionate new beginning. I think you got a person who's about to come towards you. Now, this person's kind of pulled in two different directions, okay? They're kind of struggling with themselves. This is someone who doesn't like to lose control. They don't like to lose control of their emotions. But I'm going to tell you something here. You have all the power, Scorpio, because you are the empress. Uh, you may have gone through a healing, okay? Because um, that death card is about something ending, okay? It's over. It's done. It's baggage. It's finished. Now there's that hopes and dreams. Oh my, you could be the one that's possible. You're soul searching, you know. I do see a Taurus energy here as well. That's interesting. Taurus Virgo energy, very strong in this reading. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's about building something. There's some kind of change. Somebody wants to put some work into something. They want something to work. So I, I feel as though you, there's chemistry between you and a person. There's a lot of passion, a lot of uh, that fiery energy. <laughs> a 
Oh, this person's absolutely crazy about you. I can see their energy. Uh, I see this person coming in. They're very sincere. They want to talk and communicate. They're gathering information. They want to have success. They're planning success. Someone's working out a communication here, and this is the action they're going to take. Very calm, very peaceful. Yeah, they want to build something here. This is energy of someone that's just going with the flow. Okay, oh yeah, there's that Pisces energy. It's someone who takes a little pause. They're looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently. You are different than their usual type. And I think we've got a person who's in that energy. Oh, well, if you run into this person, if you've just ended something or you've healed from something, you are in the Empress energy. Stay in that energy. This person will come towards you. You're the one with the power. You're very powerful. You have a very powerful intuition as well. Uh, you see? So take a pause when this person comes towards you. Look at this. Take a little moment, okay? It's telling you to take a look. Make sure you decide what you want because this person's coming in. I feel they're in a similar energy because we have temperance twice. Pulling back. Now's the time to make a decision. I do feel like you have a lot of things the same and yet some things that are different about you. But somehow there's a balance. And it has to do with emotional energy, emotional balance, the way you connect emotionally. Look at that passion now. There's, and I'm going to tell you too, there's a lot more important things in a relationship uh, than just um, chemistry, okay? There could be a lot of physical chemistry, uh, but yet there's this energy of two people who look out for each other's best interests. This is a partner, uh, two people who take care of each other through thick and thin. Pisces energy. Trust your intuition. Yeah, you, you have a person here. If you are seeing somebody, just stay in that energy. Know your worth and your value. Make sure this person shows you they know your worth and value. That's what the Empress does, right? Yeah, when this person does that, then you shower that abundance upon this person, but not till they put in the effort, okay? Mm hmm Look at this from a different perspective. Take that little pause. I feel like your intuition is very, very strong right now, Scorpio. Okay? Use that power you have. Control your emotions. Do not be ruled by your emotions. Ooh. <laughs> I think this person's in that energy as well. This is likely why uh, they're doing that soul searching. It's spending a little time alone and maybe yourself deciding what you want. Maybe you're just... Maybe the children have left home, you know, you're in that place where you have a solid financial foundation. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely living alone, though. They have, I feel there's an energy of someone who has everything but love. So you know, there's definitely something to think about. Tell me about passion. Yeah, we're getting to it. Yeah, someone shining that little light. There it is, right? Looking for some kind of clarity about to communicate. Someone wants to know something and they can't find out. Now, I don't know whether you've started something new, if you've moved on to somebody else, if you're in a commitment. I think you've got a person here who's uh, really interested. And I don't know if they live in your neighborhood, your building, or they live around you, okay? But this person is definitely in that energy of looking for some kind of clarity before they communicate. Make sure someone tells you the whole truth, okay? Make sure you get the truth. Sometimes that page of swords is someone who uh, doesn't tell you everything, okay? But I think it's because someone's not clear about something. I don't know whether it's their life path or journey or they're thinking about marriage, or, you know. This is someone who chooses their own path. They have their own way of doing things. So we have the wedding. Yeah, it's about reciprocity, two people reciprocating. Someone here is not giving you the information you need. So that's what I feel. And I think this person, I'm going to tell you, this is somebody who's uh, taming that uh, beast within themselves, basically, because what they're doing is pulling back. They're being patient. So this is a little test. This person's tempted to reach out to you. Okay, they're going to reach out. I feel they are. And uh, it's a little test to see if you'll reciprocate. I think this person's going to, I'm going to tell you what they want to know is if you're in a relationship. If you've uh, if you're in some kind of a commitment, it's possible if someone doesn't isn't sure you're even single here. Okay, uh, some of you I feel like you have entered a relationship. I feel some of you the children have left home. Uh, you're letting go of something. Okay, but that's that ending. The every ending has a new beginning. I think that's what somebody. If you ended something with a person, they could still be looking. Uh, 
looking for you or trying to find out. They want to know something. This is fishing for info. They're going to, it's a little test uh, to tempt you to see if you, you go for it. Okay. And I do feel they have a few insecurities here because there's something they don't know that they want to know. Yeah. They're a little worried about being rejected. <laughs> this person's just not sure. I actually feel this person could be a little emotionally drained. This is someone who does not like rejection. So it really, I feel for most of you, it's somebody who wants to know if you're single and they're just kind of waiting patiently here for something. Uh, maybe they're waiting for someone to tell them something. Maybe they've reached out to somebody uh, to ask them to find out. Because I feel that you are the one in control. Stay in control. Don't let your emotions control you here. Okay? Yeah, let this person sort themselves out. <laughs> You can take a pause and, and make a decision. Yeah, I, I think you got a person here. Oh, look at that. You know, there's some kind of a, there you are, Scorpio. Yeah, you want emotional fulfillment. Uh, you're not going to settle. I feel you're very much, oh, you are very powerful right now. Um, wow, your intuition is very strong. You know what you want. You want to be happy. You want to have a happy future, happy home, happy life. Uh, and you're not settling. So it all has to do with how this person uh, reaches out. If they do not reciprocate, uh, they're only looking for a physical connection to watch that energy. This is someone who sometimes, you know, kind of pulls back, um, you know, and they're very focused on your on the physical. So you know what you want. I, I, I feel like there's something here. There's definitely some kind of chemistry, some kind of connection. Um, but I do feel this energy of being on the fence. This is a life path. This could change everything. See, that's that energy of change. Um, yeah, you're not going to change your mind. You want someone who puts in the effort. You want someone to, you want to build something with someone. That's that queen of rods energy. That's yourself, your passion. You're focused on that wand. You want someone who focuses on you uh, and you're not settling. So there's a crossroad. You're about to make a choice. That's where it says clearly decide what you want because this person's about to reach out. They are worried you won't reciprocate. I think this per person's worried about rejection or they're going to come towards you and um, you're just not going to feel the same. I actually feel like you do, uh, but I think you want this person to work for you. You want them to put the effort in. You're not going to be the one to do all the giving. You want equal give and take. You want a partner. Uh, and I do feel that energy. So you know, already know everything you need to know. But I actually feel this person already knows everything they need to know about you. They see you as marriage material. Um, yeah, you are, and they know you're not going to settle. Uh, I do feel if this person comes towards you, you're going to kind of take a little pause and look at this from a different perspective. Try to see things from their perspective. I think this person's seen, trying to see things from yours. There's something about reciprocity to do with marriage and commitment. Yeah, it's about investing or not investing, waiting patiently, you see, by tempering the emotions. Don't try to control this, okay? Uh, I think this person knows too not to try to control you because you're definitely not someone who will let anyone control you. You make your own decisions. But something is going to happen with this person. I don't know who they are. I don't know if there's someone from the past or someone who's just crushing on you. Uh, they want to know if you're single or if you're married, if you started something new. They know one thing they do know, your marriage material. Um, but I feel as though there's some kind of gap. There's some kind of pause or gap where this person has is unaware of some information. It's like, where are you is what I it's telling me. What are you up to? Are you with somebody? If they come in, yeah, slow moving. Yeah, see, this is someone who's looking for a soulmate. You see, this is somebody here who, you know, there's someone's looking for you. And I feel like it's a slow process. They want to have success. This person sees you as someone who's looking for a soulmate too. And they're, it's whoever you're looking for is looking for you. Whatever that means, that soulmate energy. This is so interesting. Let me grab that Four of Wands energy. What is that all about? Yeah, see, this is about that leap of faith, Scorpio. Um, hmm. This person feels, they wonder if you've started something new. That soul, and it could be yourself contemplating. Should you take a risk with this person? Uh, I feel like you want, you'll want to take things kind of slow. You want to make sure. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, um, <laughs> this energy of patience, it's one foot in front of the other. Slow and steady wins the race. Taking it slow, not just leaping into something, okay? Yeah, and I think this person's about to come towards you to take a risk, to reach out, to find out if you have started something. Because it's a little test 
uh, to see if you reciprocate. If you do talk to this person, then they're going to come in and put the work in. But just watch that energy, that wand, okay? This is about a life path of decision. It's about a passion at the beginning. There's definitely a physical connection, okay? Uh, but I think that you are, uh, you know what you want. You're not settling. You want marriage and commitment. You want somebody, you know, you want something to go somewhere. I feel like you're not willing to put any effort into someone, if especially if they move too slow. But I see two people being patient, tempering that passion to rush towards that passion at new beginning. It's saying to temper that. Now, take a little time to get to know each other. Stay in control of your emotions. Do not let your emotional energy rule you. And that's what I feel this is about. So whatever's about to happen, I think this person's worried you'll reject them or you won't be interested. Yeah, and I think they're shining a light. That's the light, gaining the clarity, trying to find out if you are in a relationship. They have to take a risk. They may have a little Aries in their chart. Uh, it could be yourself as well. So I see the new moon in Cancer. Yeah, it was a little Cancer energy, uh, new moon energy. Speak the world into being. This is two people need to communicate here. Speak the world into being. First quarter moon in Gemini. This is some, seeing things from a different perspective, seeing things from two points of view. Okay, interesting enough. That could be yourself. Definitely underneath this other person. So I see the new moon in Leo. So someone has a little Leo energy. Yeah, so somebody coming very clear here about starting something. Uh, I feel they're a little concerned. You won't invest. You won't be interested. Uh, I think this person is just kind of waiting. And I do feel as if you are waiting for somebody uh, to take things to another level and they don't invest. They're not reciprocating. You will not put any effort. So that's why it's saying to just take it slow. I think you're both in that energy. I think you both have something similar going on now i don't know if you're aware of this person um who's moving towards you as you're looking for a soulmate i think this person's looking for you where is my soulmate where is this person where have they gone have they started something new so there is definitely something there trust in the universe new moon in aquarius something to do with this aquarius energy and some energy of trusting releasing something here I don't know whether it has to do with the children have left home and someone's single and now ready for something new, uh, yourself or this person. But this is also melancholy. Uh, it's also, I feel like it's a crush. Someone's crushing on you, okay? Um, and I do feel this is someone's hopes and dreams. Someone, that, and it could be someone who sees you as the mother of their children, like they're ready for a commitment. Uh, they're on that path and they're heading towards you. Where are you? <laughs> um Wow, new moon in Virgo, trust all will be well. Yeah, see, it's about trusting in that energy. This person here is a little worried you won't be interested or won't be, you won't reciprocate. If, if you don't reciprocate to this person, they're going to assume that you're in a relationship when they reach out. I don't know what they're thinking, but I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, interesting, yeah. See in the bigger picture. So there's this is that energy of the hangman. See in the bigger picture, taking a pause. Okay, looking at this investment about reciprocating. Yeah, so it's about the details, attending to the details. Uh, last quarter moon in Virgo. So there is a little Sag energy. This is that passion, that is that temperance, tempering the passions, emotions, not letting the emotions control. Neither one of you are. It's in the heart of the reading. So when this person comes towards you, uh, they're going to be very much in control of their emotions, okay? Uh, they do need, they know they need to come towards you to show that they're stable and reliable, they're invested. I, I think they're a little concerned that you won't, just won't be interested or you're, you're already starting something new. I, I think we got someone with a little bit of insecurities. Um, yeah, so I do see this energy of full moon and Aries cooling your emotions. This is about watching your temper, okay? Watch your temper, you may have different temperaments, a different way of communicating, and that's that energy of pause. So make sure you are on the same page with this person. Uh, I, I feel as though there is definitely some kind of change. Some of you may be thinking of relocating and moving for work too. This could be somebody you work with who wants to approach you. I don't know if you've relocated for work and they're wondering where you are. Um, this is an energy of working on it, putting the work in and just going with the flow. Cool your emotions. Okay, that's that uh, energy, Scorpio, that's your energy, that's that Mars energy, just cool your emotions, chill out, just relax, 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell me about the Empress energy. Oh, yeah. You got some of this crazy up. Empress energy being open. Are you open to this person? I feel like you are. Okay. Uh, I think you're waiting for this person to come towards you and reach out. If they do not reciprocate the way you want, you will not invest. You'll move on towards something new. That's where I feel that you're at. Yeah, you're not, you want emotional fulfillment. This is a life path, you know. Uh, you're ready to make a decision. In fact, some of you may have a choice between two people. I don't really see two energies, but, you know, it's that crossroads, that path in your life where you know what you want. Um, I think you'd maybe rather stay single if you have someone who doesn't reciprocate. Okay, if they don't you know, do their fair share, if they're not fully invested, because you want that partnership, you want someone you can rely on. Trust your intuition. I feel your intuition is so strong. Yeah, there's your person coming in to put in the work. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who's going to take a leap of faith. Uh, very charming, very passionate, very creative, uh, possibly quite attractive. Could be a business owner. Somebody you've worked with before, possibly. Yeah, there you are. Both of you, very passionate. Uh, I see some kind of change here. Ooh, could be changing, you know, the way you um, go about starting a relationship. You're very focused on yourself. You want someone who's focused on you. And I do feel like there's that change of focus. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you want love. You want that emotional fulfillment. There's that truth. You want to have success. If someone doesn't reciprocate, I'm out of here. You'll change your focus. And that's what I feel is happening here. Yeah, you want what you want here. If someone doesn't offer you what you want, you're just not going to focus on them anymore. Uh, you're not going to be the one to do all the work. In fact, I feel some of you may have had a relationship in the past. Maybe the person you had children with where you did all the work. Uh, you took care of the children. You paid you know, your share of the bills and you had someone who didn't uh, uh, reciprocate. They didn't, they didn't give enough. They didn't put enough work in. So I feel like you're looking at that energy as well, Scorpio. Okay. So stay in that Empress energy. I feel like you've got this. I really do. You've got this. You're not settling. You know exactly what you want. Um, anybody who approaches you is going to get the same thing from you. <laughs> you're pretty straight up here. You know, you're not messing around. But honestly, I think someone here finds you very attractive physically. I think you're going to find this person physically attractive, but I feel like that's not the end-all be-all because you're not letting your emotions control you. Uh, maybe in the past when you were, you're, long, you're young, your emotions controlled you, you see. yeah. But I think you got a new person coming in pretty quick. So uh, you have a decision to make when this person does. And I feel like it's not so much the person, it's about whether you want to be single or not. Okay, I feel like it's this last minute decision. I, I don't know if you're going to change your mind or you've gone through some kind of changes where, you know, you're at this crossroads in your life. Uh, but I think this person's coming and cool your emotions, you see, stay in control, watch your temper. Okay, yeah, I don't really see a lot of aggression or anything. I just feel it has to do with that passion, that chemistry between two, you see, uh, this passionate energy. And it's also about following your passions. Maybe you don't feel the same. If you got a person who's around you, they obviously know you. I do feel they know you. Yeah, see, it's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning here. So things are about to start turning in your favor. You've got that wheel of fortune. I don't know if you've been working hard on creative pursuits, the birth of something new, a new job. Maybe you're relocating. I don't know. But you've got a person here coming after you. Yeah, I see justice and balance. Somebody coming in just right. You're going to do what's right for you. Um, feel maybe you've changed your mind about commitment or marriage at some point. Now you may change it actually again uh, with this person. It all has to do with whether you want to be single. I feel like you have everything you need. Yeah, but you want emotional fulfillment. I feel some of you are in a happy place. You know, I do see this Virgo energy and I see this Taurus energy, this Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Libra. Very strong Sag energy. That's an energy of being free. Temper the passions, not rushing into things, okay? I wouldn't rush into anything with this person. I think you best wait a little, and I think you need to sort out how you feel. I think it's telling you you need to. I don't think I know. I see it, uh, that you need to decide um, 
quite quickly when this person comes in because if they get ready to take things to another level and they decide very quickly they want to marry you, you need to decide. I feel like you've changed your mind about marriage and commitment. Like I say, I, I feel like it's like something, it's just the death card uh, and then the birth of something new. It's like a whole new you. So let me grab some charms here. Oh my goodness, yeah. Where did they go? Right where I left them. Yeah, I think you're going to have to decide whether you want to, if you actually want to commit or want to be married again. Trust your intuition. You've got someone here who sees you as a partner, and I think they're going to get ready to um, commit. They see themselves happy with you. <laughs> Hmm. We have the ship's wheel. We have a heart, an anchor, a turtle, which is interesting. You have a new cycle beginning. This turtle, someone told me this is about abundance, about movement forward, prosperity. And then we have a ring. There's some love here. Give it a chance to play out. If you do not know who this is, I feel it's somebody who, uh, they do know something about you. Uh, they definitely do. I feel it's somebody who maybe knows you've ended a situation with someone. Maybe they were waiting for you to uh, heal. I also feel this is someone whose children have left home, whether it's you or them. And now it's uh, someone living alone in their home. They're kind of lonely. Um, this could be someone you knew when you were really young as well, um, who never, who crushed on you and never, ever told you. Okay. Maybe you went off and married someone else. I don't know, but there's something really interesting. This is special, uh, but it's up to you to decide. Okay. You got this Mars energy, uh, to do with justice and balance if someone's right for you, if marriage is right for you, because I feel like you've gone through a change and I feel, feel the change is you. Okay. Um, this is you too, not offering all of yourself, that Queen of Cups. See, the Queen of Cups will do that. Maybe in the past you were uh, very passive. Uh, you offered up, you know, it's a little passive aggressive energy. Uh, you offered up a lot of love and care and nurtured people uh, and really cared for them. And uh, they never gave you anything. And I feel like it has to do with the past relationship because I feel like you're in that energy. Like, I don't know if I want to do that again. Uh, I kind of have what I need. I'm kind of comfortable. But then comes along this special person who uh, is really on that journey. Uh, somebody's on this journey with you, whether you're together or not, which is interesting. Speak the world into being. There's some kind of communication. Yeah, look at that. King and Queen of Pentacles, two hardworking people, passionate, creative. Um, Going to build something here. Somebody wants to build with you. This is, I feel like this is telling, this is something you've always wanted, but for some reason, uh, you've gone through a change. Okay. This person comes towards you. Maybe, you know, you feel like, you know, you've changed. Your looks have changed. You're different. Uh, there could be something there. But I look at that beautiful energy. Huh? You have an offer. This person's going to give you an offer. This is an opportunity to build something. Uh, I think you're going to look at this very carefully. You're going to have to decide. Okay. Wow. This person here, they're up in there. There's, you got someone who's very logical too, uh, very grounded, practical, possibly financially stable. Two financially stable people coming together to build something. Beautiful energy. Let's grab some letters here for Scorpio. Sorry to drag these out, but it's very difficult to... All right, so we have a C, a Z, a K, an I, a P, R, and a V. So R, C, K. I see R, I, C, Rick. Oh, yeah, you've got somebody named Rick here. R, I, C, or R, I, C, K, or um, Pick. Hmm. Vic, I don't know what the Z is. It could be the first or last initials of someone's name or a full name. Let's see. Kip, pick. You guys will have to let me know. Interesting. So there is some names here. There is uh, definitely a couple of names. 
take it how it resonates. Give it a chance to play out. But I do feel if you maybe be feeling some kind of change coming, okay? Uh, maybe you've changed your mind. You're ready for love again. Maybe you've healed and let something go, okay? So take it how it best resonates. But you're going to have to make a decision whether you want to see yourself happily married again, okay? A crossroads. you got to make a choice. Uh, if it's not yourself, maybe you're giving someone a choice. I don't really see that, though. I, I see this person getting ready to invest. I feel that they're waiting for the right opportunity uh, to reach out. They're looking for some kind of info about you. Okay. So. All right, Scorpio, I wish you the very best. Take, give it time to play out. And uh, it's all food for thought. Take care and bye for now.